I'm playing. So you like, see me on the field. That's what I want to hear. I want to hear some sassy ass answer from Richard Sherman because that's the Richard Sherman I know. He's just like, I don't talk about my health the same way Brady doesn't talk about his politics or how he feels about black people. Dang. Hey, okay. Wait, sorry. I'm late on the shots. I've been monitoring the chat for once. Boo yourself. <laughs> KJ Wright. Says expectations for Seattle should still be high, even without members of the Legion of Boom like Richard Sherman elsewhere. And even with Cam Chancellor and Cliff Averill probably not playing this year. He says, again. should still expect a lot from the Seahawks. Is that a touchdown or a turnover? I'm going to say it's a turnover because you're setting yourself up for failure. You stole we my take. all know the Seahawks are in a rebuilding year. Just accept it. Set the bar low, and if you ball out and play well, then, hey, we're all surprised, and we're riding your hype again. Yeah, I'm going to say it's a turnover, too. I mean, you got the feel-good story of the year, Shaquille. Sha- yeah, Shaquem. Shaquem? Yeah. Okay. I thought, no, is it Shaquille? No, is it Shaquem Shaquille's the, corner? the older one. Okay. Shaquem is the – Shaquem Griffin, then. Yeah. my bad. I still don't like the fact that his number is 49. That's a trash ass number for a linebacker. Like what why did the NFL change that rule? Like you should you should be allowed 40, 42, 47. Anything else looks butt ass ugly disgusting. 47 looks disgusting. 47 is amazing for a linebacker. You, you that's why you probably hated uh college football, bro. 47 47 is trash. 47 is amazing 47 at the college is trash. level. For How? any position. Nah, dog. 47, 47 is, is a 47, gunner on special teams. 47. That's what 47. 47, 47 says I'm I'm the pump protector and the gunner. Nah, dog. That's what that that's says. That's only if you have blonde That's hair, why you smile. Because nah, you're like, damn. It's not true. <laughs> it kind of does. It is not true. 47 <laughs> in high school and college is raw as hell, but only if you're a linebacker or defensive end. That's the only time it's raw. Don't wear that shit if you're a D-tackle. You look stupid. Don't wear it if you're a safety. Everyone will assume you can't cover because you're wearing a heavy-ass number. They're going to literally just throw streaks and nine routes and skinny posts and seam routes at you all day because you got 47. All right, you done? Yeah, I'm done. Le'Veon Bell says he won't sign for less than $14.5 million. Is that a touchdown or a turnover? That's a touchdown. I need your, your Steelers shots you've been saving all show. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't worry. We're not going to go over <sighs> First things first. The Steelers are cheap. And um, with everything they've been going through with Big Ben, they should be thankful Le'Veon even played last year. Like the running back market, the same way the offensive line market was kind of undervalued, running backs need to start getting paid big money again. Because you want guys, you're like you're not guys who can't catch out of the backfield coming out of college, who aren't every down backs, who can't pass block, um, and if it sometimes you start them out on special teams too. You want to do all these things, but you don't want to pay them. Um, that's taxation without representation. That's that's the form of pimping and hoeing. I'm just saying. You want me to do all this work and you're not gonna pay me? Nah, cash. As as a uh, as Randy Moss once said, straight cash, homie. I'm going to need all my chips with dip because you delinquent. And, yes, that was what Snoop Dogg said in the wash. I'm not going to say what he said afterwards, but y'all get it. Get your money, Le'Veon Bell. And if not, you don't want, you don't want to worry about quarterbacks all up in your interviews, all on the field taking your shine, receivers taking unnecessary shots at coaches, taking up all your air time. Go to another team where they'll pay you and actually promote your rap album. <laughs> Here's the whole thing. I'm going to say it's a touchdown only if he's willing to take it that far. Are you really not going to sign? Are you really going to sit out a whole season Be with it. and hit the free agency market? If you're willing to do that, then I'll say it's a touchdown. But if not, if you're just saying this and you're going to sign for 8.5, nah. Like, I don't want to hear it. Because I understand everything you just said about getting money and all that's at risk in this game, but at the same time, can't just talk it. You got to walk it. Thanks, Quavo. 
<laughs> All right. Um, your boy, Reggie Bush, got $12.5 million in a settlement from the, the St. The Louis Rams. Don't ever flex on me like that. The Rams. <laughs> For basically, he returned a punt for a touchdown, and, and he fell on some slippery. He was slowing down, con- and there was some concrete on the edge of the field, right along where the audience is, and he slid right there. Towards ACL on some slippery ass delinquent and he, concrete, and it was like the second, per, second or third person to do that. Then it was like some hood ass concrete. It was like it was just disrespectful. It was like this is poverty stricken concrete in a billion in a million dollar stadium. What are we doing? Get your twelve point three million dollars. Isaac Bruce never slipped on it. That's because they had AstroTurf. Genius. It's the same field. It's a different stadium, though. It was the same stadium. And it was literally the same stadium. Wasn't in the same spot. Rich, it I, was the same. It, that it wasn't had the same al- spot. That had always been there. He slipped on concrete, bro. It had always been there. They put some there. adhesive down, and then they it had to- always been there. That concrete had always been there. It had been known that, like, hey, if you don't slow down, you're gonna slip on this concrete that's right on the edge of the damn banner, and it's a turnover because. As I've said all week. Rams tried to get out of paying him, and the judge was like, nah, homie. Reggie mean. needs to give that 12.5 to all the players that lost national championship off their resume. All those second and third string people who are now PE coaches and assistant coaches and all that stuff. They need a small figure of that lump sum of money. Reggie Bush and don't or, owe nobody nothing. And or. He owes Brad Walker something? The dumbass who couldn't catch that ladder? Proactively pay back that, that money that, you know, first may or may not have been for your parents' rent. First off, first off. <laughs> he, he might smack you across I the face. I really don't even have a problem with Reggie Bush. I just like to talk smack because you pretend that he's the greatest Name player the, you've ever seen. He really was the greatest player I, I've ever seen with my own two eyes in college. Yeah. Watch, go watch the Fresno State game. Over almost 600 yards total by himself. That famous uh, back juke where he cuts across the field, scores a touchdown. We've all first... seen it. Yeah. On NFL Street. First off, no. <laughs> he he did some legendary stuff. Nah, um, he stop did. hating. Name a, name a UCLA running back who did something that legendary. Oh, wait. They, Never. Don't, they don't exist. Exactly. Exactly. That's all you got on that? I thought you were going somewhere else. No, this is what I wanted to say. All shout, right. out, shout out to him. Shout out to Reggie Bush. You don't owe them, you don't owe them walkouts nothing. They're the reason they, they got in the club because of you back in the day. So they need to be quiet. Brad Walker, all them cats. Last one. If you go to the Touchdowns and Tangents Twitter page, TDs underscore Tangents, there's a picture, if you scroll down a little bit, of Von Miller. Guess what, man? People are saying Von Miller looks a lot like Rick James with his new dreads and mustache. So, KB, is Von Miller looking like Rick James a touchdown or a turnover? Because it is 2018. (laughs) It's a touchdown, and... um... It's only a touchdown if he says, fuck your QB. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, Stop taking my takes. You bastard. I said that in the group chat earlier today. I wasn't in the group chat. You just said that in the group chat yeah, earlier. I did in the Not FPC in Raiders one. Yeah, I did. Dog, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> anyway. Um, honestly, man, did you see the video where him and that mascot were dancing? Nah. And he started doing the shoot. I got to see the that. The shoot dance? Oh, yeah. Send that to me. You can. Bro, you can link that up right now. <laughs> we got time. But, um, yeah, man, Von Miller can do whatever he wants. He's awesome. I think he was like a two- or three-star recruit coming out of high school. So he can do whatever he wants. Von Miller's awesome. That's all I'm going to say. The one dude I root for who's a Bronco, and I hate the Broncos with a passion. All right, do you have a college f- football story or rundown you want to give really quick? Fine, really quick. Ooh. So Hunter Johnson, former Clemson five-star Five star quarterback, uh, because Clemson had way too many five star quarterbacks. Uh, transferred to Northwestern, and Northwestern is low key putting a run together. Like, see you, Pat Fitzgerald, finally getting some better quarterback play. Because once, once Northwestern gets a great quarterback, quarterback, or a union, you're being an asshole. <laughs> too soon. Respect, respect their sacrifice. <laughs> I know. 
college athletes need to get paid. Shout out to Northwestern. <laughs> get your money up. You're paying all that money at Northwestern. Um, you might as well. And some of y'all journalism majors, and you understand. Anyway, um, Northwestern yeah. is a very pristine J school. Yeah, the I forget the name of the school, but there's like that school's name, and then there's that type of F that you get at that school. Um, there's a lot of people in the media from Northwestern, but anyway, five star QB Hunter Johnson transferring to Clemson. I don't know, transferring from Clemson to Northwestern. Also, uh, Jeff George Jr., a former two-star recruit, the son of former NFL bust, I guess, former yes. first overall pick, Jeff George. His son um, also went to Illinois and transferred to Michigan for some stupid reason. I guess he really wants to get his uh, his um, like master's degree or whatever at Michigan, but he's not going to play at Michigan because they have Shea Peterson a bunch of cats like he's never going to see the field so good for him um and transfer rule the transfer rules that are in state uh, that have uh, been approved schools can no longer block block um student i can't talk today they can no longer block students from um transferring to certain schools like bill snyder that old uh crutchety asshole at um kansas state yeah i said it he's he's an asshole he, this dude, Cam, I think his name's Cameron Sutton. He's at Appalachian State now. But he blocked Sutton from going to 35 schools. 35 schools. Bro, at that point, do you hate me? Do we need to describe? <laughs> I take your old ass out. You were old enough to be around. That's 30% you know of Division One football. 35 schools. You blocked me from 35 schools, bro, and they weren't even in the Big 12. So it's just a, you got a problem with me now. So I got a problem with you now. Honest, honestly, that just angers me, but I'm glad that that rule is in place now where schools can't block you from transferring um, to anywhere. So kudos to that rule. The NCAA, um, the power balance is slowly shifting towards athletes when it comes to transferring, and that's excellent. My do-gooder of the week is the ESPYs for honoring the Parkland coaches who um, – actually stood up and gave the ultimate sacrifice in what is one of our nation's greatest strategies. And, well, hopefully it will never happen again, but who knows. Other thing I wanted to bring up, man, real quick before we get out, the Rams are touring their new stadium. They got – Cute hard hats that look like their regular helmets. Oh, how sweet. Yep. And guess what? Our Aaron Donald still wasn't there either. But, yeah, they walked the construction site and checked out the new stadium. It's getting closer. So, Rams fans, L.A. Ch- sports fans, get excited for that. It's dope. Unless you live there and you're going to be gentrified out of the city, then, you know. You might cash out. You might want to start a, Airbnb You right might now. cash out and get a nice place in the IE and actually go travel and see the world. So it can't, Not really. it can't be all that bad. Not really. Have you lived? you want to go live in Lancaster or Riverside? I don't. Yeah, man. But You're if from I'm, Riverside. If I'm, it's different. If I'm retired. I'm talking about somebody like who's... Not retired. But you're talking about they, someone going from a... grandma lives in the hood and that's okay, all they but, know. And they're like so if 14, you, 15. They got to move. They just got to move and uproot their life. Hey, Don't man, argue. for everyone has a price. So if your property goes up three times in value. I'm talking about people who I have imagine. to rent. <laughs> Not people I who imagine. are trying to own their stuff. But people who have to rent. They are screwed. Hawthorne prices well, going to up. Welcome to L.A. Welcome to that's everywhere. Welcome to California. It's happening everywhere. There's not enough. There's not enough rentals. There's not enough people moving. There's a bunch of different issues going on. My home girl we got to get Sean on here my, to talk about that. My homegirl said Lancaster's trash. They got nothing but retired meth addicts. Yeah, for sure. Damn. But they also got ten bedroom houses and movie theaters and shit uh, like that. Nah, I've been to Barbecues. Lancaster and Quartz Hill. Yeah. They got Quartz Hill has that dope ass uh, Krispy Kreme though that you walk in you get a free donut. I still remember those days. Good times. Who knows? They doubles. might even have podcast studios in their house. Dog, it's a lot. It's a lot of dirt and just nothingness though in in Lancaster, and it's like an hour away from Northridge. Nah, I'm good. And then when it when it gets windy at night for no damn reason, like it just sounds. You're like- really not discouraging me like at all. 